So I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect pork belly. And it's a tough one. How do you get that incredible crackling, but then melt in your mouth, tender, juicy, gorgeous pork belly, right? A nice hunk of that, right? That's what I'm gonna give you. This is a beautiful basic recipe that works every single time, and you're gonna love it. You're gonna get crackling, you're gonna get meat, and you're gonna get massive smiles around the table. So guys, let's start with the pork. Go to your butchers. You want a free range bit of pork. Look for marbling. And this fat will mostly render out, but the journey out kisses, looks after, takes care of the meat. Why am I doing a big chunk? Well, leftovers from this are gonna be amazing. Whether you freeze it, fridge it, use it within the week after, it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna show you how to score it. Now there's a little secret weapon, Stanley knife. So get a Stanley knife, change the blade. I don't want your grubby old blade from doing your DIY. And what's good about this is the fact that this blade can go up and down and it clicks, right? And we know that we can click that down and that's gonna go through the skin and score and you're not gonna get into that meat, which means that juiciness is optimized, okay? I'm gonna go down the middle and I'm gonna score all the way down, take the skin and I'm just gonna score it maybe every centimeter, almost like herringbone. So that's one side done. But what you'll notice is as I open it up, can you see that kind of concertina out? Heat can get in quicker, flavor can get in more. This is gonna be amazing. Turn it around, so score it up around here as well. And then I wanna make a flavored salt. It's a really exciting part of cooking. We're gonna use lovely spices and herbs. First one is coriander seeds, then fennel seeds, then black pepper. Two tablespoons each and two tablespoons of sea salt. Then two bay leaves. Pull out that little central stalk here and bash it. Now is the time to use it. Rub it in, all the little crooks and crannies. Let it get in there. So I've added a little bit of olive oil there. That little bit of oil helps the rendering. But I want to brush off the seasoning from the skin now. Brush it off because it's inside there. And let's get four lovely white onions. Leave the skin on and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. This is gonna roast as a trivet under the pork. And the skin stops the onions from scalding. So use the onion to prop up the pork. You want it all to roughly be on the same plane. And then it's gonna go into the oven at full whack, which is roughly around 230 degrees Celsius or 250, which is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That takes about 40 minutes to an hour. Then I'll show you what to do next. In the meantime, I am gonna get soap and I'm gonna just clean this place down, it is gonna be spick and span, and that includes me. The pork is looking amazing, and as that crackling's just getting perfect, I wanna clank up a load of veg. We've got lovely potatoes, leave the skin on. Chunk them up into like inch chunks. In it goes, and then we'll do exactly the same with the fennel and the carrots. Got some celery here as well. Take some herbs, like rosemary. A whole bulb of garlic, leave the skin on. Just literally break it up, so season it with salt and pepper, then give it a really good mixing, but there's no oil here. So what we're gonna do is take the pork out of the oven. Look at that, come on! We have crackling, but now we have to change attitude towards the cooking because high heat gives you crackle, but it's gonna make this meat underneath tough. So now we're gonna go to the oven and we're gonna turn it down to 150 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 Fahrenheit, okay? So we've gone from high to low cooking. This is the genius. What we have underneath, um, listen to that crackling. Oh. So what we have here, ladies and gents, is the potential for the most amazing homemade gravy. People are gonna go nuts for this. We have already got guaranteed crunchy crackling, right? So I wanna guarantee you tenderness. So we're gonna do that by another brilliant technique that I love. So I'm gonna take this pork, put it straight onto the bars, put it back sort of towards the top of the oven. The veg goes underneath and literally that fat as it melts out of the pork belly is gonna rain over all those beautiful veggies. It's gonna be incredible. Cook it for about three to four hours at 150 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 Fahrenheit. And you'll know when it's cooked when that meat just pulls apart and it's beautiful. We are at the end of the story, the best bit, right? When everything comes out, we have an amazing gravy. It smells so good in here. This recipe is rock solid. It's gonna look after you. And what's nice is as that pork cooked and rained fat onto these incredible veggies, I just mixed it up every now and again, like every hour. Look at that, just amazing. Wow, incredible crackling, outrageous. Oh my Lord, come on. Right, enough talking, let's get into the pork. Look at that, come on man. Just 
incredible. Tender, juicy, if I squeeze it, just juice galore. Really amazing. You have got these ribs here, and look how much meat will come off these. Just absolutely beautiful, look at that. Wow, just absolutely beautiful. Oh, right, I'm peaking too soon. Time to plate up a portion. So caramelized and delicious. Come on. Oh, yes, you know it makes sense. Let's try that. Mm. So good. The flavor of the pork is amazing. Tender as you like. Crunch. Mm. The veg is so tasty. So guys, please don't just watch this and do nothing. Go shopping tomorrow. Go buy some pork belly. Click the link, get the recipe. Take care.